Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to your July Lightworker Evolution reading for 2017. Um, as I'm recording this, it is the 4th of July, that's why I'm all dressed up. I'm getting ready to go enjoy some festivities myself, but I wanted to go ahead and get this recorded. I hope you all are having a lovely July thus far. Um, full moon in Capricorn readings will be, be available in the Maven Unmasked Etsy shop only from July 8th through I think about July 11th or 12th. Um, so those are $20 for a five card reading. I only do them for a limited time every month and people are loving them. Um, so please be sure to check out the Maven Unmasked Etsy shop and grab yours. So I invite all of you to let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth as we call in our angels, our guides, our ancestors, our loved ones in spirit to see what energy will be surrounding us for the month of July 2017. Okay, so far I think July has been um, a little bit tricky for some of us. I know June was definitely tricky for some of us, myself included. Um, lots of new energies coming into play. So our first card is going to be what were we working on last month? Where are we right now? What are we evolving towards? Okay, um, what new spiritual discoveries will be made? Ooh. Spiritual challenges, okay. messages and advice from our angels and guides, and what does our higher self need from us this month? Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. And then the shadow card for this month is the Queen of Water. I'm using the Cosmos Tarot and Oracle for this month's reading. I'm absolutely, absolutely adoring it. Um, longevity, commitment, and eternal. So where are we committed? Where do we have longevity? What do we want to keep eternal? And um, realizing that we ourselves as beautiful souls are eternal. We are immortal. The soul never dies. So the first card is what were we working on last month? We have the nine of water, play and the healing power of the art. So maybe some personal healing, some self-healing, self-love, self-care. Um, what are we wishing for and allowing our wishes to become realized in our healing, in our, our getting out and playing and expanding our energies in new ways. Um, hmm really more or less determining what it is exactly that you wish for. Maybe some of us had some traumatic experiences, some loss, some situations we had to leave behind, or maybe we had some tough decisions to make. And so very much focusing on healing that situation um, is very pertinent for us in the month of June. Okay, um, please note that this is just a general forecast, a general reading. If you would like a more specific reading, please check out my website, www.mavenandmass.com. Okay, next is where are we right now? And we have the seven of earth, the seven of pentacles. So reaping what we're sowing. But in this particular deck, it's for procrastination, delay, and excuses. Okay, so maybe for some of us, there are some things that we're wanting. Maybe we're like, we're done healing and we're ready to get a move on. Like, let's get a sh this show on the road. It's not happening for us fast enough. It's like we want to... Um, take flight, but there's still some things we kind of have to work through. Um, and part of me makes this feel like this is a net of your own devising. You're playing some kind of role in this, whether it be subconsciously or, um, or consciously. Um, but there's, there's just a bit of delay, a bit of procrastination. Things aren't moving as fast as we want them to. The next card is what are we evolving towards this month? And we have the night of fire. So adaptability, adjustment, and camouflage. And this totally speaks to me of, um, if you know anything about animal totems, about the fox. Um, and, and being cunning, yes, but learning to blend into your surroundings so that you continue to focus on your healing and not draw unnecessary attention to yourself. Maybe when you're not looking for that attention. Learning how to adapt to your surroundings this month. Maybe this is a whole new world, a whole new outlet, a whole new place for you and learning how to make the proper adjustments in those channels to determine where you're going and how to move forward with the best right action. Um, 
having your armor, having your shield on, having some trips, uh, tricks up your sleeve in case you need to make an easy escape, things of that nature, but trying to blend in um, so that when you're fully ready and, and healed so that you can come out and be noticed. But sometimes, you know, when we're in our, in our crab shell, you know, um, waiting for that healing to take place, it's better to not be noticed when we're changing our exoskeleton, if you will, because then we're all soft and mushy on the inside. And sometimes we just need that hard exterior, that camouflage to blend in so that we can take care and honor and respect ourselves in our healing process, our journey. Okay. Now, um, this card is what new spiritual discoveries will be made? And we have the five of air, a risk to structure, stress, and potential damage, okay? So this to me totally like makes me think of Titanic and the iceberg. Be mindful of arguments with others. Be mindful of the thoughts that you're thinking about yourself and about others. Be mindful of judgments this month. Also be mindful that um, you release as necessary and you don't hold so many things in so that um, in case there is a crash, if you will, or damage to the structure, if you will, that um, it all just doesn't come tumbling down and out and apart. So I'm um, like a pressure cooker, slowly letting out some of the steam instead of just having it blow up in your face. A risk to structure, stress, and potential damage. How do you deal with stress? How do you process stress? Do you do it in a healthy, um, positive way? Or do you tend to indulge or um, find yourself in toxic situations? Also with this, it makes me think that there's a lot more that's going on beneath the surface. That This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the tip, the top facet of your healing. There's still so many more layers to go underneath, underneath, underneath. Um, so be mindful to try to kind of work on that th those things that are kind of underneath the surface so that you don't have this huge, you know, titanic moment. Okay. Um, now this isn't the tower card, but it's kind of like the way it feels to me. It's like it could almost be a precursor to this. Um, so again, be careful not to blow your top this month, learning how you handle stress in a healthy way. Okay. The next card is spiritual challenges and we have temperance, assistance, encouragement, and patron. So to me with the card of temperance, um, this to me says, remember I was talking about overindulgence. So to me, temperance is sometimes about imbibing and drinking. So um, maybe not indulging, you know, in, um, in substances um, this month, in foods, you know, this month. Um, for self comfort. It also makes me think of um, how can you encourage yourself? Focusing on self healing. Um, who are those people in your lives that promote your encouragement and your your upliftment? Calling in Archangel Raphael, I feel like, especially with this as well, to help uplift you. Asking for assistance if you need it. Okay, you don't have to go it and do it all alone. The next card is messages and advice from our angels and guides. And we have the eight of fire, minor sacrifice for something important. Okay. Minor sacrifice for something important, you guys. So what is important to you? And what it is, what is it that you need to let go? And once you let it go, you know, what is that thing that you can achieve? You know, what is more important to you, the thing you want to achieve or the minor sacrifice it will take to achieve it? And I really feel like that comes back into the where we are right now, that procrastination, delay and excuses, because we don't want to make that minor sacrifice for something important. We don't want to be in that uncomfortable space. Um, it feels like needing to let your guard down a little bit Um, to purge things if you need to, to clean out your closet if you need to. Minor sacrifice, donating clothes that you don't wear anymore for something important you'll have more closet space things of that nature making room making space in your life for that new positive energy to come in okay maybe minor sacrifices will have to be made in order for you to deal with the stress accurately and efficiently and then the last card we have this month is what does our higher self need from us this month and we have the knight of water protection preservation and defense. 
okay? Have your spiritual protection up this month, guys. Focus on self-love. Spirit and your higher self is definitely trying to bring us messages, but slowly. Listen to your intuition. If something, you know, doesn't feel safe or right, it probably isn't. I think we have a pretty um, interesting theme. Procrastination, delay, and excuses. Camouflaging yourself. Learning how to adjust even though things aren't moving as quickly as you want them to, making adjustments to your surroundings, sacrificing minor things for the importance of being able to move forward and to get to where you want to go, and knowing in all of this that you are protected. Because even still, if you want to look at all of it, okay, Blackbird, Raven, if you want to call it that, Yes, he may be trapped in the net, but couldn't the net also be protective to him as well from hurting himself? The Knight of Fire. We also have, you know, Chameleon. He's in his suit of armor, that suit of protection, okay? And this is about protection as well, about structure, okay? So very, very interesting message this month. Um, be willing to adjust, even if it, though it may be uncomfortable. Be willing to make sacrifices. Again, the shadow card for this month is the Queen of Water, so this month may be very emotionally heavy for some of us. Longevity, commitment, and eternal. So when you come back to thinking about that minor sacrifice for something important, what is it that you want to have longevity com be committed to and to be eternal? And what minor sacrifices may you have to make in order for that to happen? Okay, but thank you so much, lovelies. I'm Arielle, and this has been Maven Unmasked with your July Lightworker Evolution reading for 2017. Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please check out my website at www.mavenunmasked.com under the Book a Reading tab. Summer 2017 tarot scopes are out on the blog. July newsletter um, came out on the 2nd of July, so please be sure to check your inbox and your promotions folder for that. And um, also, full moon readings. They will be on the Maven Unmasked Etsy shop starting July 8th through July 12th. Um, but have a beautiful, beautiful month, <laughs> lovelies, and happy birthday to all you Leos out there. Have a great one, guys. Bye.